Hello everyone, welcome to Drive Club again. Um, I promised that I was going to get through this game, and it's been a while, so let's do it. We've got plenty to talk about, plenty to get on with. Thank you for joining me on this fine Sunday evening. Again, it might not be evening where you are, but... Um, so... Man, this career mode takes ages. I've only put in about seven hours so far. And only got just over 10% of the way through. So it's going to be a long one. But this, um, in this live stream, hopefully, we'll be able to get up to... Where are we? We're about here somewhere, yeah. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to get up to the Venom Hot Lap. Which, I mean, I've never done it, but pretty much everyone is saying that this is the hardest challenge in the game. So, if we can get up to that, I'll be happy. And then if we can complete it, even happier. Um, the 200k stream will be up very soon. So, um, with live streams, I bring them up a couple of days after they've been done. So, that they're fully uh, rendered see the full thing in full beauty I 
Right, let's just crack straight on, shall we? Drink of the day is water. Sorry to be boring. Also Red Bull. Because I'm absolutely dying today. In fact, I'm going to crack it open right now. Enjoy your energy, energy drinks responsibly, kids. Did a lot of running this week. I played football match earlier. And I'm dying of death. So I need energy. But with energy drinks, I like to balance it off with water. There we go. Half and half. Nice. Righty then. Mm -hmm. You whack my headphones in. Just a chilled out stream. Fire away on any topics you want. And we'll uh, just have a nice chat while we chill out on this stream. Just make sure I'm playing on the right difficulty. Standard. Yeah. Cool. We'll go through a load of different cards. BAC Mono. Noob Wagon. Hell yes. Sponsored by Red Bull. I wish I was. I wish I was. I'm going to kick it off with a McLaren. No one does Venom Hot Lap first time. Stuntman Daz laying down the gauntlet. Yeah, from what I've heard, it's very difficult. Five guys for recovery. Oh, man. I had a pizza early today. And a big old bacon baguette. But we could always get a five guys as well. Manufacturer's choice. A good shout. I still don't know. And I've got to decide. Wait, when, when's the first? first of may isn't it the first round so i've got three days still I, s I really don't know i'm still kind of undecided and premier league title do i think city will slip if i'm honest i think God, i think they've got it covered now but you never know you never know you know, all they've got to do is just win two games. I, I think they should do it. But they kind of struggled today against Burnley. They didn't really have it all the right way. Hope you enjoyed yesterday's video. Um, the Grand Prix of Death, man. I was struggling through that to try and record that video, man. I was, um, I was on the verge of suicide. It was honestly difficult. That car is so hard to control. I finally got my act together and managed to win a race. Progress through it hasn't been as quick as I would have liked, but it. Oh man, it takes ages. This this could take all year. I think. Will I try a wheel? Yeah, I think. You know what? If definitely before I complete, I'll do one of the streams on a wheel on this game. Um, I do like just doing it on a controller because it's just chilled out. Especially today because I've got no energy. I can't bother to be turning that wheel. But um. I mean, is this game good on a wheel? I'd imagine it is. Not too bad, actually. But I've never tried it on wheels, so I don't know. Thoughts on Fuji Group 2 next week's race? See, yeah. yeah it's so next week's race is in uh, Gran Turismo Sport. I can't remember what race A is, to be honest, but race B, um, Autopolis Group 4, and race C is Fuji Group 2. Again. Like how many times have we had Fuji Group 2? Honestly. It's, it's becoming a joke. 
a very a very bad joke that no one's laughing at. No one is laughing at this joke. Can you drive a Ferrari? I will, yeah. Sure thing. Maybe not next race, but it depends what comes up. I'll try a Ferrari out at some point. Super GT sacrificing its well-being for us. Eh, you know, don't feel sorry for me. Life could be worse. I'm hashtag blessed, mate. The blessed life I'm living right now. still debating if I'm going to stream tomorrow because um, well, I don't often stream two days in a row so I'll probably like like this week I'll probably do the daily race stream thing on on Tuesday but I'm thinking of bringing out a video tomorrow so there'll still be something for me am I living off of YouTube yes this is my full-time job I, I left my job um, last year and before you ask, I was an auditor, you, kind of, you can just go and Google and look up what that is. Um, but yeah, I'm living off of this now, somehow. So it's an interesting life, you know. Um, doing YouTube it's, it's kind of cool being able to um, you know I like the thing I like about it is uh, being my own boss so I, I'm in control of you know, how much work I want to do on a certain day some day I'll just take a day off some days I can just put work all day if I want get things done get ahead of schedule I'm in control of my own destiny Should we talk about the Baku race? Yeah. We don't want it spoiled. Maybe turn your volume off. But, um, it was actually not too interesting. Um, especially after the big build up. You know, it's, it's going to be mayhem, and it just wasn't. And I think that's what Ferrari were banking on with Charles Leclerc. They were. They kept him out for ages. But to be fair, he was never going to win that race anyway. I think that was getting a, we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves if we think that he was ever going to win that. If he had a safety car at the right moment, he could have won it. But um, other than that, he wasn't going to. And it just seemed like a calm race, actually. I think everyone just kind of calmed down from last year and just decided to take it easy. We'll just get to the end, apart from Dan Ricciardo, of course. Torpedoing the torpedo. There we go, done. But, um, yeah, it wasn't too exciting. I mean, it built up a little bit at the end because Hamilton was catching, but then he made a mistake. And um, Bottas got DRS on that second to last lap. The qualifying was more exciting. It probably was, actually. Ariel Atom, the beast. There we go. Emil, I've, I've just literally answered the question of when I'm streaming GT Sport Tuesday. I've just answered it. OK, 
Okay, can I... Italy versus Germany. I'll probably better use a Ferrari here. I don't know who it was requesting a Ferrari. What socks am I wearing? Just plain black socks today, actually. You know what? I've always wanted to drive this thing. The FXX. I always remember driving this first on PGR4. What a beast this thing is. Look at it. Lando Norris, best rookie. Lando Norris, I'm really impressed by Lando Norris. He's driving really well. Uh, just, just solid, reliable, consistent. Not really doing too much wrong. Maybe like China wasn't that great, of course, but he's driving well. And Verstappen's actually driving really well. Uh, Verstappen's been like really, really solid actually. Like, he's not got the car to win, but I think he's he's maximising that car. I think. Fair play to him. And Bottas is driving well this season, which is good to see. Two wins already for him. Face off, so I was working out last time how do you on that you can just go really slow, and as long as you follow the line, you'll get more points. I was trying to be too clever and get more speed, it doesn't really work like that. Navik, thank you very much, mate. Thank you very much. For the smiley face. Is this game too loud? This is really loud, isn't it? Yeah, sorry. This is... Let's turn the game volume down a little bit. I should do it, I think. Three laps, four laps. You know what I need to do? A PGR3 playthrough. It'd be, it'd be really useful if that was remastered so I could play on Xbox One. Otherwise I'd have to figure out how to stream on Xbox 360, which I don't know how to do. But um, a PGR game would be well worth a playthrough, I think. this pass you'll see all day Michael O'Donnell just found the channel and loves the content thank you very much Michael welcome to the channel my friend welcome to the shadow realm Give any driver a Mercedes, they've got any chance of winning. I don't know. Because you look how Bottas drove last year. Right? Hamilton won 10 races and Bottas didn't win one. It just shows you that somebody won the title with 10 race wins. The other guy didn't win any. The driver still is an important factor. Is this the crew three? Not quite, mate. Not quite. It has um, semi There's some similarities, I suppose, with the crew. Obviously, it's not open world, but just the way that it looks and feels, I suppose. But I've never been into the crew. It's never been my type of game. 
Universal Rise, thank you very much. Loves the videos. Thank you very much, man, uh, mate. Faster laps on a controller or a rig? I don't know. I don't know what is quicker. You know what? The person to ask would be Key25 because he's um, something of an expert on this game. He's got lots of very good times, and I, I don't know if he used a controller or a, or a wheel. I don't know what he used. It might be one of those things like in Forza, the controller most of the time is set in the best times. On Gran Turismo, most of the time it's the wheel. I don't know what it is. I, I'd imagine the controller, but I'm not an expert, so I couldn't really say. Donation sounds aren't working. Oh, okay. Wait. Okay, it should be now. Sorry. That's quite a long race, that. Well, five minutes. Eric P, congrats on 200k subs. Thank you very much, man. Yeah, two, well, two, 201 we're on now. 201,000 subscribers. Pretty crazy, isn't it? I remember when I got my first, like, 10 subscribers, and I was like, wow, 10 people actually care. 10. That was a long time ago. SGA is saying that the controller is much better than the wheel. Okay. And Key25 helped Evolution Studios refine the wheel controls. Interesting. Yeah, he did say something about that. And the, the hardcore mode, he said something about... I can't remember exactly what he said, but... Claire circle check. To be fair, like, yeah, um, it's, it's good, it's fair enough liking him, but I think we've got to be careful and not get ahead of ourselves because he has been making a lot of mistakes. And this is the thing that, um, this is why I think Vettel will beat him this year, is because Vettel, he might not look impressive, but He'll just get a race done and not make any mistakes. So, for example, I mean, Leclerc crashing in qualifying. I mean, it's just his own fault, really. I know he was on that medium tyre, but it's still his own fault for crashing. It's still his mistake. So... I, I still think Vettel will beat him this year, overall. But he'll get race wins, no doubt, I would have thought. This car is absolute beast. I'm struggling to control it, to be honest. Oh, Zonda pushing me wide. Cheeky punt. I only need a top three finish, though. Who, who's going to get... Who's going to set for third? I'm going for first, mate. Oh, I've got five laps of this. I think, I mean, Charles, I think he's a very nice guy, though. He's... He just seems more down-to-earth, more genuine. Even though I do like Max Verstappen, but you can definitely say that he's a little bit more feisty and borderline arrogant, or, or just flat-out arrogant. Um, although this year, I think he's calmed down. Or more recently, he's calmed down, I think. Leclerc seems just a bit more sort of calm, measured.
But yeah, I, I, I do think we mustn't get caught up in this hysteria over him. And I mean, I like him, but that doesn't mean he doesn't make mistakes or he's invincible or can't can do no wrong. He definitely can. Will I do videos on F1 2019? Yes. Well, I'm going to get it, yeah. I'll, I mean, I don't really have a plan. I'll see what happens when it comes out. I've never really got into the F1 games, to be honest. As you all probably know. I mean, I, I did start a career mode on 2018, but... I don't know. I, I really struggled to get into the physics of the F1 games. It just, it just feels a like a really weird game in terms of feel. It feels really floaty. And I need as much feel as I can get. So I, I struggle with that game, I think. You have to drive it all visually. And you, you can't feel anything. But, yeah, I mean, I'll be getting the game. We'll see, we'll see what happens. It looks like there's some cool content coming because we've got the Formula 2 being added. There's that Ayrton Senna versus Prost update or content feature, whatever you want to call it. I mean, there's interesting things. I mean, that Formula 2 thing is pretty cool, actually. I think that's a very good addition. I just think they've got to sort out. I just, I just don't like the physics too much. This feels a bit weird to play. And the online is just, it's really messy. Like, it's really hard to have a close race, I think. Did I watch Avengers? No, I haven't actually. I don't really have too much interest in it, if I'm honest. It doesn't really interest me too much. I did watch the last Avengers, the previous one. Okay, I had a look on the internet, and this was on it. Whoa. An ordinary sim racer. Thank you very much. Keep it up, bro. Will do, man. Thank you very much. I love the music on this game. Are you playing on a keyboard? Sure am. Here it is. I'm I'm kidding. I'm playing a controller. What about the controller, bro? How close are we? Not too far away. We'll get we'll get there today, definitely. So my, again, I'll just say the Venom hot lap there. Everyone's saying this is the hardest challenge in the game. So we'll get that done hopefully. Game of Thrones. Yeah, I watch Game of Thrones. I really, I love Game of Thrones actually. Do you think on TV they're sort of, especially these days? Oh, let's drive this thing. There's no drift challenges, is there? No. Yeah, we'll drive this. Because I love Game of Thrones because it's just like it's so raw. There's murder. There's nudity. There's just swearing there's just everything like that which is a lot of the time a lot of tv shows shy away from that but this is just like yeah kill people slice them up best character on game of thrones hands down sandor clegg game as a legend But for the handling beast here. For like no straight line speed.
Yeah, so Game of Thrones is... Wait, isn't it tonight? Then Yeah, tonight's the next episode. Oh, I'll watch it tomorrow. But uh, there's only four episodes left. And, well, I think they're going to be longer, though, aren't they? Pretty sure they're going to be like longer episodes, like 80 minutes. It's all building up now to a big ending. Two AM UK time tonight. Okay. Yeah, so I'll watch that tomorrow. Steve just watches Game of Thrones for the D. Hell yeah, man. It was a bit weird on the last one. Spoiler, maybe, but seeing Aya strip off, like I was a bit shocked by that. Even by Game of Thrones standards it was a bit weird, but Probably made a big, got, got a big paycheck out of that. So, Drive Club is an underrated game. I yeah, I well, there seems to be mixed response to it. From my viewers at least but i really like it it's just a chilled out game i like the format the single player i like i just like the challenges that it gives you i think they're pretty fun plot twist on game of thrones thanos just kills everyone or half of the people he kills he kills all the humans and leaves all the white walkers Rip. Are you going to see the new Paw Patrol film? What is that? Probably, almost certainly not. I don't even know what it is. Um, to be to be fair, I don't really go to the cinema that much. Maybe like once a year. Am I missing out? Maldonado kills the Night King in the finale. They're just like having a battle with Jon Snow. And then a Williams F1 car out of nowhere just drives into the Night King and slices his legs off. Oh, sorry, did I just tell everyone? Sorry. Best racing game in your opinion, or... Like right now, or all time? That's a really tough question. I mean, I love playing Gran Turismo Sport right now. It's not perfect, but of all time, like... Maybe Gran Turismo 3? Um... <sighs> Ooh, it's tough like to call one racing game that I like the most. It's a hard question to answer. Four laps around the satellites. It should be the perfect track for this car. Your handling. Um, Project Gotham Racing 3 is up there on my list. Um, Blur, I don't know if you guys have ever played Blur, but I rate that game so highly. It's a it's like an arcade power up racing game. But I think it's one of my it's one of my favourite ever racing games. Racing Dri Race Driver Grid 1 is an awesome game. Forza Motorsport 2 and 4 are right right up there. Crash Team Racing, that's that's a great racing game, that. Um, maybe of the current gen of consoles, um, I mean, Gran Turismo Sport, I really like it because I just like the sort of online competitive aspect of it. Um, it's not a, really a complete game because it doesn't have so much single player, but I really rate it highly. Never played Gran Turismo 5 or 6, so I can't really comment on them. Burn. 
Oh yeah, Burnout. Um, Burnout 3 Takedown. I think that was, for me, the best one in the series. Oh, and of course, Need for Speed Underground 1 and 2. Those were excellent games. And then Most, Want Most Wanted was good. That's when, that's when Need for Speed was at its best. Like, from about 2003 to about 2006. When you had Underground 1, Underground 2, Most Wanted, and Carbon. Those games are all really good. And then since then, it's been a bit... I just don't like the repetitive police thing over and over with gimmicky stories. It just doesn't really work for me. They just need to... I think that... I think they try and shy away from the whole street racing thing. Even though, well, a lot of the current ones are still street racing, but the whole, like, tuna culture, street racing, I think they're trying to shy away from it, isn't it? That's when they got come out with that pro street and were like, we're better than racing on the streets. You should race on a track. But no one cared. What are your hopes for Gran Turismo 7 or 8? Well, I mean, let's start on 7, because 8 might be about 50 years away. Um, oh, I hope it has just the big single player that we're used to in Gran Turismo games. But also, I hope they don't sort of leave the online aspect that sport has. Obviously, they need to improve it, but... As long as um, they got the online still, the good online aspects. But... We don't know when it's going to come out. Hopefully soon, but... Need for Speed Shift 1 and 2. I, um... Shift... I've never played 2, but Shift 1... I kind of liked it, you know. It was this is a drift. Or drift this Aston Martin. Um, Shift One. I can't really remember it too much, but Pro Street and Shift. So those games around about what was that 2008 and nine. I liked them. You know they weren't too bad. I kind of liked them. I think Pro Street wasn't too bad actually. I, it was kind of quirky, like having these tuna cars on these weird circuits. It's if it's almost like this game in a way. You have got these weird fictional circuits. But um. Proceed it wasn't too bad a game. It wasn't too bad. Just call me the Drift King. I'm passing these first time. I actually really like this. I'm not really a drifter, but I think these are pretty fun. These little challenges. Have you played Grid 1 and 2? Um, yes. Now, God, those could not be more different in terms of my opinion. Number 1 was one of my favourite ever games. Uh, I loved Grid 1. I love the style. What are we doing here? Finish top 3. Achieve a top speed of 165, lap time. Finish top three. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Oh, F40. It's got to be the F40, hasn't it? Look at that. But yeah, Grid 1 was honestly one of my favourite games. Because it's that that was what really got me into like proper online competitive racing. Because there was this... I don't know if it, if you remember it. But there was, this, uh, there was this championship online called the Nissan Cup. And I would grind this championship over and over and over and over at one point i was like top 20 in the world in terms of true skill rating and sometimes around that track i was just unbeatable in a, in a lobby of like 20 racer i wouldn't lose so i mean i, I just loved grinding that one mode 
I just almost got perfect at this one race. And it was the it was the quickest way to get XP. Because it was like a two two lap race around like a, a 38 second lap or something. So you could rinse and repeat races really quickly. Build up your ratings really really, really fast. Oh god. I'm driving like an absolute idiot here. A grid two. Um, I don't know. It, it was just an absolute mess online. Absolute mess. It was... I mean, mo if you go back and watch my videos on it, it was just crash compilations, basically, because... <laughs> I don't know. There was, like, excessive tyre smoke. So if someone spam, they deployed smoke screen, and no one could see where, you were go where they were going. And then it would just lend itself to more crashes. Out of the way, mate. And um, just the physics just were really hard to... It was really hard to race close with people. If you touched someone, you'd just spin, or they would spin. It was just... It was just such a mess. It really was. But I just never really got into it. And I was so disappointed because I loved the first one. And the second one just just could not get out of it. Driving like an absolute idiot here. Yeah? I need to be at that lap time. One minute, which I'm not going to do on this lap. No. Okay, right. Here we go then. I'll do on this lap. One minute lap time. This car's pretty drifty actually. Oh man, someone just give me an F40 for a day. I'll be the happiest person alive. How old is this game? Um, I think it came out in 2014 or 15. I, I can't remember exactly. 14 or 15, I think. So, four or five years old. So it's not exactly new. There we go. Wait, did I actually pass that last the minute challenge? Yes. There we go. Grid 2 was the most disappointing sequel as far as racing games go for me. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Probably the same for me. I, I was just like... I was so looking forward to it. Like, I want to make loads of videos on this game. Because um, when Grid 1... Wait. Yeah, when Grid 1 came out, that was before I started YouTube. So I was like, wow, on Grid 1 I was racing so well, winning races. I'd love to be able to put Grid 2 on YouTube so I can kind of carry on where I left off with all these great uh, great races and wins and whatever and it just didn't happen <laughs> it was just an absolute atrocity so yeah grid 2 was a massive disappointment for me um, grid autosport I never played it I've, got, I've looked at it I've watched videos on it but it looks like an interesting game but it looks very similar to Grid 2, actually. Just on real-life tracks. If I reach 165 miles an hour, it does look there's a very long straight, uh, judging by the map. Oh. Out of the way, mate. Flat Out 3. I remember, was it Flat Out Ultimate Carnage? What a game. Jesus Christ! This car is an absolute handful.
Am I on a controller? Yes. Hence the beautiful chase cam. Sure, this car can even do on just 65. There needs to be another long straight somewhere. And a big downhill, preferably. There's a straight. If there's a downhill part, I can't see one. Challenge now. I mean, just looking at the map, there's nothing. I missed my chance. It was that straight, but I messed up. Messed it up. What an idiot! Why do you use chase cap? Chase cap when on a controller. Um, isn't that normal? I've always done that. I think it's weird using the chase cam on a wheel. Surely this way around is the right way around. Okay, we missed a star there, unfortunately. Is this a racing sim? Not really, no. It's no, it's just it's not a sim. Box Entertainment, there he is. How you doing, Box? Good to see you in the chat, Mr. Box Entertainment. The legend, the FRC legend. Okay, we grow closer. How many stars overall have we got now? 209 on this difficulty. Okay, we're getting there. Right, finish top three, three cornering face off, lap time, yeah. What are you drinking? Water and Red Bull. Interesting mix, eh? What is this? Why is this in supercar class? Not pretty good stats, actually. I'm going to try this. I unlocked this recently, and apparently it's very good. Yeah, um, so I, I will have to replay that race that we just did to get that final star because I want to get all the stars. That's the whole point of this stream or this series of streams. But I'll continue for now and we'll get it another time because I don't want to rinse and repeat the same thing over and over. It's a shame Sony dumps this game, yeah. They should really back it a lot more. Passing off the limiter, I couldn't hear my own car. Out of the way, Aston Martin. Right, I need to beat that corner and face off at one point.
when will I be doing real life carton again? Um, yeah, so the next time... Wait, let's just get this. The next time I'm doing carting is the... It's about a month, actually. Um, I'm going to Spa. Oh, there's the corner face off done. I'm going to Belgium. So the series I do is Club 100. And... So it's like a 11 round championship in the UK. In the UK. But, um... Every year they do this special round in um, in Spa. So there's a little cart track in the inside of the F1 circuit. There's a little cart track. They bring all their carts there, and we do like a little two-day event, sprint races, endurance races. So that's the next time I'm going to be racing. So that is, I'll go for like a whole weekend. So we're leaving on Thursday, coming back on the Monday. So it should be a good week uh, weekend out. Plenty of drinking, I'd imagine. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's the next time I'm going to be racing. So that's going to be a really cool weekend. I'll be recording it as always. The response to the karting videos has been really good. So I'm really happy with that. And um, pretty much everyone who commented wanted more of it. So there will definitely be more. Out of the way, mate. Yeah, so there's a really positive response. People wanted to see more. I'm happy to do that. And another thing I can do, um, I didn't really activate it. I I've never activated it, but on the GoPro camera that I've got, you can activate the GPS so you can get a like a little track map and like uh, speed and uh, G-force. So it look like you have a proper HUD, basically, with a your speedometer, your uh, map but then I'll have to edit in um, like the, the lap counter who else found out, found out about Super GT from Gears and Gasoline yeah I think quite a few people did actually so there's that video on, on his channel very recently about um, can was it can games make you quicker in real life oh so, yeah welcome to everyone who who came across the channel as a result of that it was really nice actually um to, to be featured on that channel because he's, he's got he's got a really good channel his videos were really really well really well put together i was actually really impressed by the way he edited i mean the whole thing but even just just the section that i did because we only had like a 20 minute skype chat but he edited it really well just to really get the main points down there so it was a good video, that. Which sensitivity curve are you using for the controller sticks on Xbox? Controller settings for Forza. Sensitivity curve. A lot of my settings are actually standard. I don't. I haven't really changed much on that game. Okay, that's the first one done. Yeah, so a lot of people got kind of surprised by it because uh, the gears and gasoline video. Because I'm not on that video until maybe three quarters of the way through. So you're seeing a lot of real life people, and then oh, Super GT just pops up. I don't know. Mate. Trash talking in racing games is cancer. I don't mean just trash talking in general, I mean it depends like if someone in certain in some situations trash talk a little bit of trash talk is fine. But on the whole, people I don't know, just need to just be a bit more respectful, don't they? And look at the way the AI fly over those curves. Oh, the old switcheroo. Get wrecked, mate. Get out of it. I've got to get a lap time here. 
Hey, brown boy, how you doing, man? Nicky Thim just got beaten by a cop, now I'm here. I saw that he was streaming. I did I did tune in for about ten minutes earlier. Right, let's get that lap time, come on. One minute forty two, not quite gonna do it. Missed out by like half a second. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of this chicane. Look at that. Launched. Absolutely went and loop, truly launched to Mars. I'm going to beat Elon Musk to Mars by launching off of that curb. You mad, Elon. You mad, SpaceX. You don't, need, you don't need rockets. You need a Porsche and a big curb. Did I enjoy the F1 race today? Um, Not really. I mean... There wasn't too much going on, really. It's kind of a static race. Not too much happened. It promised a lot because people were out of position, like Charles Leclerc, Gasly. But, um, yeah, nothing really happened. So, yeah. And annoyingly, we got Spain next, which is normally not a great race. rough space program oh god keep going wide there did anyone watch Formula E yesterday I didn't actually although I've seen some of, I've seen some of the highlights and there was this massive pile up I heard there was a blizzard, not blizzard, um, like a hailstorm, like halfway through the race. And Formula E is kind of, it's really unusual in the fact that um, had, we haven't had a different winner at every race so far, which is pretty mad. It seems like a pretty unpredictable championship. Well, it's very unpredictable. No one really got it sorted out. I think I'll try and get to the. I've not. I've not been to a, a Formula E race, but there's that. Is it next year? I think uh, London Accelerina. So they're having like a half indoor, half outdoor race. I, mean, I don't live too far from London, so I'll probably try and get down to that one. How often does it hail in racing? I mean, when you think about it, it doesn't even rain that often. Maybe a certain tracks it does, like Spa and like Nordschleife. I think Nordschleife probably has a lot of hail every now and then. I've seen a lot of videos where it's been hailing there. But most tracks, like it's, it's in F1 at least, you're normally racing almost always in the dry. But I mean, I suppose some championship like British, British touring cars because it's in Britain, you're probably going to get a lot of rain. Depends which country you're in, I suppose. Yeah, Formula 2 is actually really good. I... I would say it's... it's in terms... Of, if you just look at pure action, 
Formula 2 is better. It's a it's better to watch. So I was watching some of the highlights of the uh, feature race this morning. And that was a really... I didn't watch all of it. But just like the first... Maybe first half of it. And even that was really good. It's almost like in Formula 1. They, they've got everything maximised. And they're... They're so clinical that everyone just finishes where they're meant to, kind of thing. So sometimes, sometimes you just get like the two Mercedes, then the two Ferraris, and then the two Red Bulls, because everyone's just maximising exactly what their car can do. So not not much happens in a way. On the rain thing, I think. I mean, if you look at Formula One, I mean, in a year, how many times are you going to get a wet race? Maybe, say it's 20 races, you probably get one or two which are wet, where the race is actually wet. Maybe two a year out of the 20. But not that many. I think a lot of the time you're racing in. Because of the time that they race, the time of the year that they race at certain tracks, you're just going to get mostly hot weather. But but yeah, it doesn't actually rain too much. And, and, and then the hailstones. I don't know if I've ever seen hailstones in an F1 race. I can't remember it. Yeah, Malaysia wasn't there. Was it? Was it the first race? Because I watched this on YouTube recently, like the F1 flashback things, where it hailed at Malaysia. I think was it just really strong rain, and like everyone was spinning off. No, no one could control their car. Another win here. This car is really good, actually. I've seen a lot... To be honest, I've watched a lot of the Nürburgring Nordschleife highlights, and there's been a lot of very heavy rain slash hail there. That track seems to have its own little microclimate. But, yeah, typically in racing, there's not much adverse weather. Was it the 0.5 race where they didn't get to finish? Oh yeah, 2009. That's when um, there's the message. Um, Felipe, baby, stay cool. We're bringing you the white visor. We're in a good position, okay? That's definitely 2009. And yeah, they got half points that year. I don't know. I can't remember if, if it was hail or just super strong rain. A couple of trophies there. But yeah, Kuala Lumpur, it's a shame that that track's gone, actually. Because I think that's actually a really good track. We're edging close. Oh, Venom Hot Lap. Right, you know what? Let's do it right now. Let's do it right now. This is it. 
Apparently the hardest challenge in the game. 1 minute 16 or less. Now, who was it? Was it Trenton? Sorry, someone threw down the gauntlet. No one does this first time. Let's see if I can do it first time. Hennessy Venom. This thing is an absolute monster. On any game that this car is in, it's a beast. I mean, it just is a beast. Look at it. Have a look inside. It's like a beefed up Lotus. Your voice in no way matches your face. Most people say this. Oh, I think it's just... I think it's a track we just did. Wheel spin. Come on, I'm just behind the ghost here. Oh, it's not exactly the same track. Same location though. Almost did it first lap. I can do this though. Messed up that final corner, I would have had that first lap. Again, system. Third gear out there is much better. No wheel spin at all. Surely. Come on. Yes. 115. Oof, that wasn't too difficult. What's the fuss all about? What's the fuss all about? I tamed the beast. Not quite first lap. I messed up that final turn. I would have had it if I didn't mess up that final corner. You just have to choose the right gears and just be really calm on the throttle. Job done, though. 
third lap. It's a good challenge though. That's what I like when it's actually difficult. You can just pass it easily without trying first time. But yeah, there is a new one. There's a Venom Hop Lap 2. I don't know where it is. It might be harder. But we could I reckon we could complete Drive Club Tour to, Yeah we can go today. Not too far away actually. There's a couple of missing stars, but it's definitely doable. Let's do a drift quick. That was apparently the hardest. A lot of people were saying that's the hardest one to do, but I reckon there must be a harder one because there's a Venom Hot Lap too. I'd imagine it's harder than that. And a drifter's Zonda, hell yeah. What do I think of the PS5? I don't think anything of the PS5 because it doesn't even exist yet so I can't formulate an opinion about something that doesn't exist <laughs> that's my that's my simple answer right um, here we go Job done. That was the Pagani Pagani Zonda R, I think. Yeah. Not a bad car. What an absolute! It's an absolute beast of a car. I do like the Zondas. Is there a GTA Spano in the game? I think so. There's a lot of interesting, quirky cars in this game, actually. Some of which I've never heard of before. Right, here we go, another time trial. Is, wait, is that a time trial? Yeah. 2 minutes 28 or less. What have we got here then? Peugeot Onyx. Sesto Elemento. CTR3. Wira. There's the Venom. Got curves. Let's see what this thing's like. Look at that, it's a beautiful car. It looks like a kind of slightly modern version of the XJ220. Wait, what's my curse button? I need to work out what my curse button is. My uh, controls. Where is McCurr's cross button? It was that easy? 
There we go. That replenish. On the braking it should do. Yeah, it does. This looks like a harder challenge, actually. Ah. Even the two star ghosts is here as well. up again. Sometimes the ghosts just take weird, really weird lines. Just slow down in strange places like there. I'm easily back ahead of it. Okay, and we're going to pass it now. Oh, I thought I was going to fail that, but then the ghost just messed right up. Does Call Grand Chiefs Sport? Anyone want to explain why they, they name the daily races daily when they're weekly? They were daily, basically. They used to be changed every day, but they changed it to a week in about... I think it was June when they changed it last year. Why do you still play this game? Um, just for fun, probably. <laughs> Because I hate it, obviously. That's why I play games. Because I hate them. Finish first place. Time of 316. Beat quartering face off. Right. Someone was saying Koenigsegg. Oh, wait. There isn't one. Oh, an F1. Go for the P. It's got Kurs and DRS. Sign me up for that. What's your favourite roller coaster? Um, hmm. What oh, good question. To be fair, I've only ever really been to Thought Park. I've not been to Alton Towers. I've not been to any like American theme park. Um, in Thought Park. Um, I'd have to say Nemesis Inferno. I like that one. Oh, get lunch, everyone. Yeah, I'll say Nemesis Inferno. There's a DRS, look at that. I might just leave it open. No, only when I'm celebrating. Saw is the best of all, but I like, yeah, I actually quite like that. The thing, um, this is a weird thing to say, I think, maybe, but um, I found it too smooth. I went, I remember going on it when it first was built, and that's the only time I've been on it. But it was really smooth, and it felt too nice, if anything. <laughs> that's a, if that's a weird thing to say. You go on Colossus, and that's just like, it feels faster because it's just more, because it's older. If that makes sense. It feels less safe. They feel scarier.
getting like a low budget Gran Turismo. To be honest, I, it's probably lower budget, but I don't think it's trying to be Gran Turismo. Although I have no idea what the budget is. I'd imagine Gran Turismo has a bigger budget than this game. But what steering wheel do I use? It's all in the description below. Uh, I use a Fanatec CSL Elite. Oh, God. I need to finish first. Job done. Nemesis Inferno will always remind me of the in between us. Yeah. Oh, hello. Thank you, Jenkins Moot. Thank you very much, mate. Never too late to the party. I'm only on 201k now, so you're not far behind. Thank you very much, mate. I went on a coaster in Hungary, one of the oldest woodies in Europe. Had a guy situated in the middle of the train, manually braking. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine that guy just passes out halfway through. He could pull a trick on everyone, just be like, just like put his head down. Everyone's like, oh god, we're gonna die now. I'm gonna use the Koenig's egg. The beast. The Swedish beast, look at it. Barbecue sausage. GZ for 200k. Didn't even notice. Thank you very much, mate. Yeah. Um, when was it? Friday we got 200. Thank you very much. It's come around pretty quick because 100k was September last year. And boom. Onto 100. Uh, sorry, onto 200 already. Right, let's try and tame this beast. I like how they try and put a drift face off during a time attack. As if I've got time for that. Job done, first time, hell yeah. I'll get my first ever bag of discos tomorrow to celebrate. Hell yes, barbecue sausage. You know what you're doing, man. You're living life. Barbecue sausage knows how to live life. With his packet of discos. I can't, I've, people always ask me what um, supercar would I love to get, or like, let's say I had to get a hypercar, unlimited money. Probably get the Koenigsegg Agera. I love that car. Absolute monster. You don't... I've, I don't think I've ever seen one. I've seen a Veyron on the road before. Just randomly. I don't think I've ever seen a Koenigsegg. They're like extremely rare. So... Um, we'll go with this, whatever this thing is. Let me just ban this Fortnite advertiser. Hide user on this channel, goodbye. 
Stop advertising your crap. Is this stream live? Yes, it is. That's why it's called a live stream. One make race here. I like it. Reach 170 miles an hour at one point. Easy. I'm pretty sure I should say, when you're on YouTube, I don't know, I mean, I don't know how you all get to this stream. Let's say you're on the left-hand side of the screen, you've got all your subscriptions. If I've got a red dot next to my name, it means I'm live right now. Or if anyone's got a red dot next to their name, it's, they're live. If you go to your subscription feed, it should say live on the thumbnail. It will say that they're live. And I get a lot of people in the... Um, so the, before the stream starts, you can sort of click on the stream and like start chatting as it, as, uh, it says like you're waiting for the stream. And it tells you on that screen when it when the stream starts. But I still get people asking when does it start, when does it start, how long does it start? It's like it says it on the screen. I've always been I, I I've never understood that. Oh my god, what am I doing? Getting battered around here. Out of the way. So tomorrow, I've got a pretty cool video because it was the FIA Nations on yesterday, Saturday. It was an awesome race. It was an incredible race. Pretty much all the way from the start to the finish. Maybe apart from two laps, but there was something going on. It was a really interesting battle. So... Look out for that tomorrow evening. Tomorrow. Sometimes I love that about the FIA races because they're like 20 minutes long. If it's a good race, it's just a video in itself. You can just go, right, that's a video. 20 minute race, boom, job done. And that was the case this time. It was a really good race, so just watch the whole thing, basically. we go hey I've never heard of that car before but it's not too bad Okay, we are getting through. We are getting through. How many? 196 out of 225. There's six there, six there, and then nine there. And then we've got a hoover up a last couple. We missed one there, annoyingly. Did we miss any more? I think there's one at the start that we missed. Possibly. Oh yeah, there's a five there. Yeah, oh god. Right, let's take a hypercar master series. Sounds interesting. You know what? I fancy a bit of Sesto. Go with the Sesto Elemento. It's a little it's a small car this. 
Because a lot of these hyper cars are huge, but this thing's like a little bit more compact. Little pocket rocket. Is this drive club? Yes. Again, it's in the title. Like, I don't know. I don't know how you haven't seen that. It's on the thumbnail. It's on the title. Is it drive club? Um, I mean, how much more help do you need? Oh, this thing's a beast. Look at that. Straight to third. I always love the interiors on a Lamborghini. It's just mental. Even the Koenigsegg's got a mental interior as well. Look at that. Thank you, Newton Motorsports. Thank you very much, mate. Here's to more dank games and videos. Thank you very much, bro. Oh, God. Oh, savage lunge. Out of the way, mate. Move aside. So, why I almost got reset? Get good, mate. Is this a time trial? Not quite. Although, well, there is a time trial aspect, so I do have to beat this lap time. But the objective's on the left-hand side, the in the yellow text. I need to... For each one of those, you can't actually get a star, so I need to get both of those. Top three finish and beat a 2 minute 30 finish time, or lap time. Or, it's not even a lap, so... Or is it a lap? It might be a lap. It might be a point. Point to point. No, it is a lap, it's a lap. See the finish line. Corner penalty. Oh my god. Boom. Why does Ferrari always ruin Leclerc's strategy? To be fair, I think the reason they did it today oh. was because they were waiting for a safety oh. car that didn't happen. Oh. Joe Loft Palmer. Stay alert on a street circuit, Daniel Ricciardo. Don't reverse into your former teammate. <laughs> that was a pretty funny moment, wasn't it? It just reversed into Cavillo. Like, what are you doing? In your seats right there. Thank you very much, Joe Loft. Palmer. Stay alert on the street circuit. Oh, Jesus Christ, that guy was straight up that rock. Let me tell you, that's not an ideal line. Out of the way, mate. Coming through. I have no respect for AI. AI lives do not matter. That that might come back to haunt me later, in later life, when AI gets so intelligent and the Terminator the Terminator prophecy comes true and robots rule the world. I'll be their first I'll be the first on their hit list. For my abuse during racing games. Vertigo, how am I today? I'm very good, thank you. I'm a bit achy. Um, played a pretty bruising football match this morning. But um, apart from that, I'm feeling good. Thank you for asking. Hope you're very well too. Oh, 
cause a weird noise on downshifts. Very good car, this though. It's absolutely planted. Yeah, listen to Claire, he got that faster lap, didn't he? It's a bonus, I suppose. And that's the kind of thing they should do. He was in so much space, he might as well just go for it. the venom can't match that I think the top speed so quick in a straight line that car oh hello Watch that Venom come flying back past me again. Come in. Block the inside. Oh, we thought better of it. Last lap. This is a really good car to drive. Really nice to control. And we are gonna have a nice little victory here. Grazzi Ragazzi, get in there, Lewis. Is end game worth seeing? Was thinking I might go see that tonight. Um, I have no idea because I haven't seen it and I have pretty much no interest. I would admit. <laughs> I watched the previous. I don't know, for me, the story... I can't remember the... What was the previous Avengers film? The one before Endgame. I can't remember it, but I, I can't remember the name of it. Infinity War, was it? I think, yeah, Infinity War. Um, I saw that one. It was... I don't know, I just couldn't get into it. It was okay, but I just don't like the excessive CGI in it. I just can't get over that. I prefer sort of a real film, if you know what I mean, with just normal people. Well, I mean, superhero films are good, but something like The Dark Knight, that was the best superhero film because it felt like a real world with a superhero. Like The whole Avengers thing just feels a bit... I don't know. I mean, there's nothing wrong with sci-fi, but it just had this weird mix, sci-fi, CGI, which did, I don't know, I just couldn't get into it. BAC Mono, hell yeah. Forza 6 noob wagon in A-class. Avenger Ram War. Forza 6. It's like a Forza 7 first corner. 
That's Infinity War, basically. Track toys. Well, that aerial atom. Yeah, I've got to make the most of the cornering speed of this thing. All the atoms at the front. They've got the power. Of this, you can see the tracks. So the races are getting a lot longer now. You are staying behind there, mate. We could have taken that a bit quicker. Yeah, man, this is the ultimate new wagon. For like no straight line speed. Aerial atoms are just flying past me. I remember the proper new bag was Alpha 33. I hung four to six. That was a new bag to end all new wagons. I agree about Dark Knight being superhero pinnacle. To me, yeah, to me that was the best superhero film that has ever happened. Although to be fair, I haven't watched a lot of them. But that I don't know, that just has a... The Dark Knight, it was... It just has a really good feel. It felt... It felt real. It felt like a real world. With superheroes in it. It felt more believable. And the Joker was done so well by... I can't remember the name. The name of it escapes me, annoyingly. It's a bit... I know the guy died. I can't remember his name. But the Joker was so good in that film. How much do you rate this game? Um... I think there's, I mean, it's not perfect by any means, but I think it's a very solid, very fun game. I'll, just, I'll give it eight or nine out of 10. I mean, I haven't played all of it. I don't I never, I don't really know what the online experience was like. I have done some online races, but it's hard to judge it now, the, the online, because there's not too many people on it. But I think it's a very solid game. I mean, it's not, a lot of people in the chat have said, this looks really arcadey, as if that's a bad thing. Because not all games have to be realistic. I think it's fine. I think it's a good game. Keith Ledger, that's it. I was thinking Keith. I was like, no, it's not Keith. It's what is it? But yeah, Heath Ledger, that's it. I was thinking, I was thinking Keith, and I was thinking Keith Flint, but no, that's the Prodigy guy. Yeah, Heath Ledger. He did so well as the Joker in, in Dark Knight. And if you haven't seen it, The Dark Knight, you must watch it. You must watch it. That's... That's... That's the standard. That's the gold standard for superhero films. I remember watching that... Um, Batman vs Superman as well. Oh my god, what a weird film that is. That just 
goes off on a freaking tangent, that one. That made no sense. What was going on? Like they were fighting and then all of a sudden... They're just... I don't know. If you've never seen it, go watch it. But it's freaking weird. It makes no sense. Yeah, Heath Ledger was great in um, Prodigy Firestarter, mate. <laughs> he was so good in that film. In that tunnel. Okay, here we go. We're going to win this one. Boom. Some of the best films, I think, uh, are like... 20 years ago 1999 was a really good year for films um gladiator Wait, gladiator snatch snatch man what a film american beauty i think that was 99 american history x i think that was 98 but around that time that was a really good film there's lots of really good films coming out in, that came out in 1999. Like, absolute classics. The Titanic came out in 97. I, I really like Titanic as a film. It kind of... I mean, the middle portion is a little bit boring with it. Like, a long love story. It goes on a little bit, but... I think the sinking scene is, is so good. And I was watching Pearl Harbor as well yesterday. That, that's a really good film, I think. Although that's kind of similar to Titanic in the sense that you've got this long love scene that goes on and on. It drags. But then when it gets to the action, it's a really well done scene, I think. Like the whole bombing scene, Pearl Harbor. I think that was 1999. A bit later, maybe 2001. I can't quite remember. The Matrix. Yeah, that was 99. And how... I mean... You've got to watch the... Fight Club as well came out in 99. So there's lots of... The Matrix and the Fight Club. I mean... Those are two absolute classics. Those are must-see films, basically. So yeah, loads of really good films come out in 99. 1999, 20 years ago. Have you seen Inception? I have, yeah. That's a very good film. A little bit confusing, I think. I'll be honest. Oh, God. Penalty. No. I'll be honest. I, I had to watch it twice to really understand it. But it's a good film. I, I really like the ideas behind it. And the way that they did got the CGI in that film was very good. It looked real. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy to believe that 1999, the, the 90s was 20 years ago. That's pretty mad. Even just like 2010, that's nearly 10 years ago. Like, we're nearly in the next decade. We've only got this year left of this decade. Interstellar, and I haven't seen that, and Watchmen, I haven't seen. There's, there, as I, I kind of said this earlier, that there is a, there are a lot of films I haven't seen. I was never really a cinema person. I don't normally buy films either to watch them like on DVD or whatever. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that lap time. 
boost me. Oh, just got it. 106.7. Oh, this just isn't quick enough. It's just too slow in a line. Crazy gamer, thank you very much. Yeah. Um, yeah, 200k was Friday. Um, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? 200,000. I, I still can't believe that amount, really. But, um, I mean, here's to another 200,000, I guess. Although I touched on, it, on this in the stream. Um, I don't really set myself like deadlines or time frames to try and get to the next 100k. I mean, 300k by the end of the year would be very nice but YouTube is so unpredictable that I can't really just I can't really like put a time limit on these things because it it could you could easily get a month where you get 30,000 subscribers but at the same time you, you just might not quite easily just might not happen so it's really hard to um you probably shouldn't just like put time frames on that but we we'll just, you know, I'm just happy with the growth that we've had on the channel. The practical effects in this section are fantastic, especially the rotating room. Yeah, so just all the effects that they did were like really just well done. And it was like, oh, like that felt real. Like it's quite kind of convincing. And like when they're out in the street and then like the whole thing folds over. Like that, it's just, it was just well done. Anyone, anyone else ever realised that Jimmy Broadbent actually records all his videos in a shed that he lives in? What allowed to build a channel with the resource that he has? Yeah, I mean, it is incredible what you think he's achieved. And he's just in a little room. I mean, um, who was it? Oh, God. I for, I'm forgetting names so easily now. Um, is the F1... Is the, is, the, is the F1 mechanic, or he used to be, he has a YouTube channel. Let me look it up. Mark Priestley. That's it. Wait. So, have a look guy on this guy's channel. Um, let me show you this. So this guy, Mark Priestley. So he was a mechanic in F1. And um, so he does a lot of coverage of like his thoughts on F1 races, Formula E. He did a video with Jimmy. He went to his, his shed. I think it's one of his most viewed, so wait. Yeah, 164,000 views on this video. So, you know, he just went to Jimmy's. He just went to go meet him. Look, I mean, just look how tiny that room is. And, like, he's just made a career out of it. Out of, it's, it's, it's crazy, like, what he's achieved in there. Like, that's pretty much the whole width of the room. So pretty mad it's pretty mad right we are nearing the end of this part of the playthrough I'm gonna go I really like that Sesto but I want something a little bit maybe I'll try the Veneno this is a beast as well. Thank you, Gary English. Thank you very much, mate. Scott Hancocks. Love your stuff, chap. You are the main reason I spent way too much on a wheel and rig. Mrs. loves you. Oh, I'll take that. Thank you very much, Scott and Mrs.
Yeah, and of course, yeah, Jimmy did a video as well where he shows off. Is it like a shed tour? I forgot about that actually. But yeah, Mark Creasy did a good video. And uh, Jimmy, of course, did his, his shed tour. But yeah, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? This is the thing that I like about the internet. You can make a living from it. And you can just do it anywhere. Collision penalty. Forza needs that. That's what Forza needs. But yeah, the good thing about the internet is that you can make a living off of it anywhere. And, you know, I could move to another country and just still do this job. It doesn't matter where. As long as I've got internet, I could do it. Are you a full-time YouTuber? Yes. Um, as of last year. Car's very good actually. That's the thing I like about, about the hype cars. I mean, not all of them are planted, but this one is very quick and very planted. And very fun to drive. Absolutely. I mean, just look at it. Look at it. AI looks a bit easy to beat. It, it is, yeah. I need to. I mean, I'm not going to change the difficulties now, but. It'd be nice there's a one up. Some of the challenges you come across are really difficult, but most of them, like, you can do it first time quite easily. Are you Super GT? Um. No, I'm not actually. I killed him and took over his channel. Upshift Media, hello. It's Mellish. How you doing, man? Everyone go and have a look at Upshift Media in the chat. Just commented. They're doing a lot of guides at the moment on um, Forza Motorsport. So, if you want to a place to learn and get good at Forza, that's where. Upshift Media. It used to be YMTV Racing. Good old Mellish and Ali. A, a bit of a rebrand. Yeah, 
if you ever watched Forza Racing Championship, um, the, like the playoff or the finals, you'd, you'd know who Ali and Melish are. slide just when I didn't need it. Slowdown penalty there. Super GT dies in Endgame. I'm actually more powerful than Thanos. It's true. It's not actually the Endgame because. There's another film coming out where I kill everyone. That's the true end game. I send everyone to the Shadow Run, basically. Yeah, I mean, Endgame, I, I don't think I'll, I probably won't end up watching it. It's just not really my cup of tea. I, I, I watched the last one, it just didn't really interest me at all. I just found it was really just cheesy. Like, when they're on... When they're on the end of the cliff, the edge of the cliff, and he's like... And he's got his daughter there. You must sacrifice someone you love. He's like, oh, he has to sacrifice his daughter now. Oh, it just felt really like uh, cheesy to me. But that's just me, you know. Avengers: Shadow Realm. That's the that's the last film in the series. It only lasts about five seconds. I just got out of that and one dies. That's it. I just drive around in a BAC mono, running everyone over. Right, is there one more race in this? Driving off 33, I've seen people who are like 200 million XP. We play this game for years. Is Bottas the new championship contender? He has to be. He's had two race wins, he's the championship leader. Um, yeah, sure, why not? And if Ferrari aren't going to do it, it's got to be Bottas, so. Okay, here we go. This is the last series of the Drive Club Tour. Get it done. The Marvel films only really work when you've seen the rest of them. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the thing. I've kind of jumped into the series halfway through. So I'm going to use the, the rough here. CTR3 Club Sport. What other ones have we not unlocked? LaFerrari. 
Rimac. Okay. Regera P1. Dumper Apollo. Now, on Top Gear, Richard Hammond said this car is ugly. I don't know if... It's, it's quite bulky. I kind of like it, though. And I imagine it would look even better in real life. And what's that? 599XX Evo. That's a cool car. I'm going to go with the... Uh, uh, the CCR3, though. Any thoughts on the car and track choice for a hot lap challenge? Ooh, um, ooh, what's a good one? What do you reckon, guys? Shout out some combinations. Fours or seven, this is, for a hot lap challenge on the Upshift Media channel. I'm trying to think of one. The fours or seven. I don't know, maybe, you know what, even though it comes up all the time, I like VIR, the, the normal configuration. Just a straight up normal circuit of VIR. Maybe in, maybe in something like, um, oh God, something like one of the race cars, like a Corvette C7R or something like that. I reckon that'd be a cool challenge. the way. Night is F1 around Spa. Rip. F1 car around uh, Long Beach West. C7R at Sebring. Oh yeah, I remember that one from FRC last year. I think I must have been about 100 laps of that combination. It's a good combo though. C7R at Sebring. F1 around Bathurst. Oh man. Yeah, VIR. I re just the st just the straight up VIR circuit. The none of the quirky infield configurations. Just the normal VIR. In like this C7R, or maybe like the SRT Viper. Just an American GT car, basically. I reckon that'll be good. What do I do? A top three finish and a lap time. How is the Regera in this game? Um, I'm not sure because I haven't unlocked it. It's normally a bit of a beast in most games that it's in. Um, whenever I've seen the Regera, it's normally a very good car. So I'd imagine it's good. It's a, it's a weird car, of course, because it's only got one gear. But normally it's a very good car in whatever game it's in. Need to get that lap time, come on. Should be able to get it. In 22, there we go. And now just finish two more laps. Bring it home, baby. V8 supercars around Bathurst, which is a good shout. Oh, bye. Oh. Not sure how I'm still alive, but I am. I'm very thankful to still be alive, actually, after that. Launch Koenigsegg. Look at this thing go. Look at it go. I'll keep up with Koenigsegg. Except for when you get for a to a corner, obviously.
This game was my first platinum trophy. Yeah, I haven't even got any platinum trophies, although the only games I've played are Gran Turismo Sport, which is very difficult, um, Crash Bandicoot Trilogy, and V Rally for about 10 minutes. That's about it. Drive Club could be my. It probably, it probably stands most chance of being my first, but I don't know if I'll go through the whole thing. I'll try and get all the career mode stars though, at least, so. IndyCar at Long Beach. Good shout. I've always found the Indy cars really hard to drive before, so not really my field of expertise. Oh no. Oh, I'm just gonna get totally done over by this venom, I think, on the main straight. I only need top three anyway, so. F4H has been sent to the Shadow Run. Well, actually, um, F4H has reformed on the on iRacing. So F4H still actually exists now. Okay, we're nearing the we're nearing the end of this. Come on, three more races. Finish top three. Time of two forty two. So that um, CTR three lacking in top speed, but feels good overall. It, not a handful for the corners, which is good. Is the controller switch of yours going to be a permanent thing on Gran Turismo? Um. Oh, I think if you're referring to that video I did a few weeks ago, or a week ago, no. I was only doing that just for a video. Um, I will always be using the wheel on Gran Turismo. I just wanted, I just wanted to go back and just see what, how good I'd be, and I wasn't that. Well, I wasn't too bad, but I wasn't that great. about a new GT Sport Endurance. Good shout. I mean, what should we do? This, it'd be really cool if that Goodwood track is added to Gran Turismo, which it seems to be. Doing Endurance around there, but I mean, we're doing on top of this one. We could do a Maggiore one. I mean, there's lots of tracks I haven't done. I mean, how many endurance have we done? About five? Five or six? Done Suzuka, done Le Mans, done Red Bull Ring, done Catalonia, done Walsh Life. Well, top of this could be a good shout. Fairly new circuit. Super Formula cars. 200 laps of Autopolis. Oh my god. 
too quick in there. So it's a good thing. This game is fairly forgiving in terms of going wide because normally you just bounce off the ball and just get back on track quite easily. Normally. Fisherman's Ranch. 200 laps Fisherman's Ranch. I think we calculated that um, on a stream with Tijni. And in like, let's say the quickest Group B car, it would take like 16, 17 hours. Sainty Crikes Endurance. That's a really good idea, actually. Super Formula at St. Croix. I'd like to do a Group 3 race at St. Croix. To be fair, St. Croix deserves some love. That's a good shout, actually. I mean, I love doing Group 3, but... I don't know. Super Formula could be good. We're going to do a Super GT edition of Hot Lap Challenge. Good stuff, man. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can do. I'll, I'll get myself on it. Set a time as well. I'm a bit rusty on Forza. I think once I just settle down and do a couple of laps, I'll get back, I'll get back into it. I just really need to... Forza's a weird one because there's some things you have to do in that game which are really counterintuitive, but are quick. So like the whole lifting off through corners it just doesn't feel right, but it is the best way to drive quickly on Forza. So for those that don't know, on Forza, there's, this, there's a really weird mechanic with when it comes to uh, coasting. So you, you lift off the throttle and the brake. Uh, you just lift off about a second for a corner and the car just turns really well. Uh, and you have to really use that to get the best lap times. So, I mean, that's not really realistic. It's not, I mean, it's not meant to be a totally realistic game anyway, but like, relearning that after playing other games can be quite tricky. Thank you, Stoffel. Yeah, the karting videos are really, really popular because I kind of contemplated putting them on this main... Well, I used to put my karting videos on this channel a long time ago. Then I took them off and did it on the second channel. Then I thought, you know what? Let's bring back a commentary version. See if people like it. Oh, God. Um, so I was a bit like, oh, I don't know. Will people like this? Because they have not really subscribed for real life racing. They've subscribed for games but then then I thought you know what a lot of the time I think people subscribe not for really exactly what type of racing it is but just the commentary of it so I can commentate over anything almost and people like it so I think that's why it went down quite well because it's just all like commentary as long as, long as the commentary is good then people will like it I think and yeah, I was really pleased with the uh, response to it. But you need Kaido, man, what a track. I always remember trying to get good lap times on the leaderboard. Just trying to get a clean lap. Like, that was a challenge. Especially when you're coming back down the hill and you've got a really fast sweeping section at the end of the lap. That was a proper challenge. Doing a Fujimi Kaido hot lap. I mean, it was, it was a really good drift circuit, but I loved it as a racetrack. I mean, it isn't really a racetrack, but it can be. Oh my god, that curb. Explain the Forza trick. So, when you're halfway through a corner, to get the car to turn better, you lift off the 
throttle and the brake. So don't brake and don't accelerate. Do nothing. So while you're still turning, you're turning the car full lock, but you're not accelerating, you're not braking, then suddenly the car will just turn a lot tighter. You have to wait like half a second and then it'll just do it. Um, if you watch FRC, you'll see a lot of coasting because people are doing that trick. Uh, stopping and waiting for the car to rotate and then they get through a corner a lot quicker that way. You really have to learn to take the right line and just lift off at the right time to get the car around the corner. It's kind of a weird way to drive, but it's the quickest way on Forza. Okay, there's going to be another victory here. Job done. We subscribe for you, basically. I think, yeah, that's something I noticed about YouTube. Um, a lot of it, you're subscribing for the person. It's almost like I could make a video on anything and a lot of people would... The people who have subscribed, anyway, would be like, okay, yeah, I'll watch that. Because they like the person. The Legend Trophy... Wait, have I done it? Got a gold trophy there. You should commentate a teapot pouring at your test and test your hypothesis. Scientific scientific test live stream. Who'd tune in for that? Boom! Okay. Still two stars left to get on there, annoyingly. We're now 263 stars out of 1,134. So maybe about a quarter of the way done. Or just a little bit, a little bit under a quarter. Can you do some commentary on golf? I think golf's like golf must be. You gotta be really sort of calm on golf, haven't you? And he smashed it off the tee. Incredible shot. I don't know, it just wouldn't work. Well, you, could, you could do that, but you need to tone in. Tone down the energy on golf commentary. Okay. You know what? That's enough for today. I want to look at the... This. What is the best time? I'm in 11.2 Jesus. And I struggle to get a 15. I reckon I could probably get down to a 13, but some of these guys are unreal. Serial Lightning's up there. And Key 25, look at that. Both of them, very good players on Gran Turismo Sport. They were lighting up the timing screens on Drive Club as well. Right, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Just a just a casual stream, a bit of drive club. Did that apparently, apparently hardest challenge. But I will get through this game eventually. You see this, just how much there is left to do. A lot left to do. As I said, we're about a quarter of the way through. So. Super GT is basically a gold commentator compared to 99% of gaming streamers on YouTube. Yeah, I think, you know what, I think that's part of the success of the channel actually because where you've got the yin of everyone got fake hype and shouting and oh my god, look at this guys. I am the yang of, uh, that was good wasn't it? More sort of calm and casual. But each to their own each to their own everyone everyone will find their way and you'll gravitate towards whatever you like so whatever it'll be what it is if you like me well thank you i appreciate it if you don't then you can get sent to the shadow realm but anyway thank you so much have a nice end to your weekend um if you're in australia then it's already ended for you but 
wherever you are in the world. If you're in the United States, which is most of my audience, have a nice rest of your Sunday. And tune in tomorrow for another great Gran Turismo Sport video. And then probably Tuesday when I'll be streaming um, the daily races. Which, daily race B looks very interesting, but daily race C is like, Uji group 2 again. So, yeah, that's a bit annoying. But, we'll work something out, won't we? Well, that's it from me. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. Catch you next time. Much love. Bye-bye.